So what exactly is the GALT and how does it function? The GALT or the gut associated lymphatic tissue is the mucosal lining that lines the inside passages of our gut. And it's part of a larger organ system called the MALT, mucosal associated lymphatic tissue. This lining is in your respiratory passages, your sinuses, your lungs, your mouth, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, colon, and it's actually in the vagina, the urethra, and the bladder. So it lines all the inside passages of our body. It makes up about 80% of our immune system. And it's made of very different layers. So um, the first layer is a layer of epithelial cells. On top of that is a layer of mucosal antibody cells and another layer of antibodies like secretory IgA. Secretory IgA we actually get from being breastfed by our mothers. It takes about a year of breastfeeding to acquire all of the secretory IgA that we need for our, for our life. And so babies that aren't breastfed don't get all of that secretory IgA. On top of that is our microbiome, and that's a good layer, our layer of probiotics and microbes that we acquire when we pass through our mother's vaginal canal at birth. So babies that are born C-section are born without the proper microbiome they need for their immunity. So all of these layers line the GALT, and the GALT has many functions. First of all, it helps us absorb nutrients. When we eat, we eat protein, fat, and carbohydrates, and they break down into amino acids, fatty acids, and glucose. And those nutrients and our vitamins and minerals can pass through the tight junctions of the GALT. They get absorbed into our bloodstream, and our bloodstream takes them to the proper tissues. If the junctions of the GALT are tight as they should be, then toxins, which could be undigested food, allergens, environmental allergens from the air we breathe, um, medications, even um, like microbes, uh, viruses, bacteria, parasites, all of these toxins shouldn't be able to be absorbed and they can pass through the GALT to the exit and where they're eliminated as toxins. So the main function of the GALT is to absorb nutrients and to prevent toxins from getting in so they can be eliminated. It also has a very acidic lining. The microbes, the microbiome, creates an acidity that doesn't allow viruses, bacteria, parasites to be able to attach. So when that microbiome is in a, intact, we can get sick much easier. We also know that the GALT has a lot of neurological connection. Many of our, um, there's a whole nervous system in the GALT, and we know that a lot of our neurotransmitters like serotonin, dopamine, GABA are actually manufactured in the gut lining. As a matter of fact, they believe that 95% of our serotonin is manufactured in the lining of the gut. Um, the gut lining also helps detoxification. It helps our body to break down specific hormones like estrogen and cortisol and eliminate that from our body. And we also know that the GALT is very important for many, many other things, including um, our appetite hormones, ghrelin and GLP-1, which helps our appetite, but also helps to balance insulin and our blood sugar. So as you can see, this gut lining um, is very, very important. It's important that it stay intact because it really is the connection between our gastrointestinal tract our nervous system, our immune system, and our endocrine system. At one time, all of these organ systems were connected, and embryologically, they differentiated into different systems. And in the 1980s, there was a new uh, science called psychoneuroimmunology, and they basically said, hey, if these systems all start together, um, maybe that they sh when, once they differentiate into different systems, they can continue to communicate with each other. And so that was kind of where the foundation of a science called psychoneuroimmunology started. So all of this is so important because we're going to learn how the gut-associated lymphatic tissue affects so many other systems in our body.
In the next video, we're going to talk about what causes leaky gut syndrome. Stay tuned.